Hey guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope you've all had an amazing week so far. I have an awesome Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I found some pretty amazing things this week. So let me go ahead and get started and not waste any time. I found some new home decor. This sign is so cute. It's very modern, but very farmhouse at the same time. I love the wreath and the contrast with the green and then the black. I think they did so good on this there's also a love sign as well that's gray but that one it didn't have it wasn't cut out like this one it the v i think wasn't like cut and it just looked kind of off to me so i went ahead and passed on that but this is super cute and i also found some little decor hanging decor ladders as well these are awesome very very well done and i did pick up the love one um, for the ladder um, because I think what I'm going to do is pop this off because it's all one piece very carefully but it looks like it's just glued on there um, and just use the ladder as decor. This one I might keep the home word on there but these are adorable. I even love the little eucalyptus leaf thing going on down here as well. I think those are eucalyptus leaves, but it's just the perfect touch for these ladders to kind of tie tie everything together. And you could also do DIYs with these. You could also pick up a few, maybe save them for Christmas, paint them and put them in your Christmas tree with maybe like Santa or an elf climbing the ladder. I know um, some people like to do that and I think it's a really cute idea as well. Let's move on to some canvas prints. I found these little coffee shop or wine bar scenes. And I think these are so cute. This one just says drink red wine as the name of the restaurant or wine bar. And I love the scene that's happening. And Dollar Tree usually does canvas prints and sets. Sometimes they're two or four um, different canvas prints for a set. And then this one, it says drink hot chocolate. So this one's a hot chocolate bar and then this one's a wine bar. So I thought these were really cute. I didn't find any more to this set, but I don't know if there's um, obviously any more out there. And then I also found this scene, which is probably one of my favorite canvas prints that Dollar Tree has come out with to date. I just love everything about this. It looks like maybe this is a scene um, from the streets of London or something because it says the crown restaurant up here and It's just giving me that vibe. I guess with this print love the yellow slug bug in here. So cute I didn't find any other prints for this um, set if there is Any more prints, but I just couldn't pass this up. I thought it was really cute I also found this print with I think lavender flowers in this picture very farmhouse, really cute, but I have been hauling a lot of like floral canvas prints from Dollar Tree for the intention of making a collage out of them. Um, and I love collages. <laughs> I actually recently made a receipt roll collage video um, that I had mentioned in my last Dollar Tree haul. I did make the video for you guys. It's up on my channel, go check it out. Um, but I have been hauling a lot of like floral canvas prints from Dollar Tree with the intention of making a collage out of them because a couple of years ago I actually helped my sister-in-law go apartment hunting and in one of the lobbies of the apartments um, there was this really big beautiful collage and it was a bunch of different um, canvas art with flowers and they were all like collaged together with a really big beautiful frame so ever since then i've been collecting floral um, canvas prints with the intention of doing something similar not on like that big of a scale um, and i'll try to find a picture for you guys and so you guys can see if not i mean just use your imagination but it was i think it was a big gold frame around it and it was just so beautiful so i want to do something similar to that so that's why i've been hauling a lot of the floral canvas prints and then these ones are very farmhouse and this one with the barn has gold foiling on it which is like modern modern farmhouse to me and then this one i just love the scene with the field or the pasture and then the cows and the barn 
in the background. And usually Dollar Tree, at least for several years, has just been doing the square canvas prints, but lately they've been doing different sizes and like rectangle prints, which is awesome. So love that. I don't know if these ones necessarily go together, but I just thought they were really cute. I found a new color set of the oven mitts or pot mitts and drying towel and hand towels. And I love this mint color. I think it's perfect for spring. Um, I like to use these and use my Cricut to decal them, um, especially these pot mitts. And then the hand towels are 100% polyester. So you can sublimate on these. I haven't tried it yet um, to see what it would look like with the squares in the middle. But I think I wanna do like some sort of like vintage rabbit sublimation. Um, on this and if it if it works out I will do a video for you guys but I love this mint color this is definitely a new color from Dollar Tree so be on the lookout in your cooking or cookware section found those and I got a bunch of these clay pots to use as decor right now in my dining room in my coffee bar area I have a bunch of bee decor and like spring decor and I've been loving using these little clay pots but I also want to maybe pop a couple in a tiered tray so I might put like the these smaller ones that come in a three pack in there and then use these other ones in other areas of my house so picked up these little clay pots in the garden section as well as these bees on a metal stake. These have been on my wish list for a couple of months now, ever since I saw them on dollartree.com. Um, but how cute are these? And again, I do have a bee theme in my dining room, but I think what I'm gonna do is try to pop these off of the stake and maybe put them in my wreath that's in my dining room. So. I love these. There's also another color variation with the bees. I think they had pink wings on the other ones that I saw, but I just picked up two of the classic black and yellow bumblebees. So picked up those. I found these little metal buckets for Easter. So this one has the pink truck and some carrots. And then this one is my favorite with the rabbit and Cottontail Farms. There was a couple of other prints. There was a gnome print and another truck print. I think that one was a blue truck, but I passed on those and I just picked up these. So these are really adorable, found those. And in the crafters square section, I found some new wood blanks that I can use for crafting. This one's so adorable. It's a little picket fence, perfect for spring. You can use the other Dollar Tree ornaments, wood ornaments that they sell in the crafter square section um, for Easter. Maybe put on like an Easter bunny or a carrot or something in here. Um, so found that one. And then I also found this palette. This palette and then this palette. So I think these are perfect for spring crafts. Love those. And... Also, in not in the crafter square section, but like the floral crafting area of Dollar Tree where they have a lot of like their wreath making supplies, I found birch ribbon. I mean, I think it's birch. It looks like um, wood, like that wood grain that birch has. But you guys, this is amazing. You get 18 feet in each roll too. And it feels, the feel of this ribbon is soft. It is so soft. I'm like, I don't know why I'm doing that. Like you guys can feel it through the camera. Um, but let me, it's very thin, very delicate. But how perfect are these um, for crafting, especially for making faux wood logs for decor? I saw that a lot during the holidays. Um, where crafters were taking paper bags and crumpling them up and then painting them to look like 
birch, but this is very, very thin. It's almost, almost feels like paper. So be careful with this, but this is perfect for making those little faux birch logs. And so I went ahead and grabbed two of these because I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to find them again. I have a feeling that these are going to sell out very quickly. So I picked up those and I have been wanting to get my hands on the hard, the hook hardware from Dollar Tree. And I think there's other um, styles of hooks, but I went ahead and grabbed three. So it also comes with the screws and a little Ziploc in the back, but these are perfect for making maybe like a entryway um, coat hanger or um, hall tree. So I picked up three of these for the intention of doing something like that when I do make our little mudroom hall tree area. Um, so I went ahead and picked up three of those. And these have also been on my wish list, the decorative knobs. You guys, these are so good and they are glass. So I found a few different styles here. I think these were the three styles that I got. So this pink glass is so cute. And I got two of each of these. Um, and then I found this one that looks kind of like a disco ball. And then this one looks like mercury glass. They also had one that looked like crackled mercury glass, but I didn't get that one. Um, if I can find this one clear, like this one, I'm gonna get a bunch of a bunch of them because I think it just looks so vintage. And I actually used to have glass doorknobs. Um, in the house that I grew up in and the doorknobs looked, it was like this shape, but they were like the clear glass. So love this look. This would also be perfect for the little crafter square boxes. I did a little DIY where I used different knobs. Those ones were Tim Holtz knobs. Um, and it had like the industrial knobs, but these would look perfect on those little drawers. Um, so if you see that, those little boxes, snag some and just like glue them together with some wood glue in a grouping of four or more. And then you get a bunch of these little Dollar Tree knobs and that would be super cute as decor. So I went ahead and picked up those random, but on a clip strip near the food aisles, I found this cupcake or frosting syringe with all of these different Tips. So I thought this was really cool. I've always just used a Ziploc bag and then cut one of the corners out and then put one of the tips in the Ziploc bag. But this is really cool, you guys. It says designed for beginners and experienced bakers. Create stars, zigzags, rosettes, dots, swirls, and more. And I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to work, but it just looks like it's easier than using a Ziploc or a pastry bag. Um, and I just thought it was super cool. So picked up that. I found some more vintage looking Easter signs. I hauled so many signs for Easter this year from Dollar Tree. I, there's no way I'm going to use all of them. Um, but I couldn't pass these up because they do look very vintage looking to me, especially this one. Um, so these would look good in the center of a wreath. Really, really adorable. I think these would also look good on their own with a chalkboard background. So maybe if you have like a big um, chalkboard, just a blank chalkboard sign, um, just pop this in the middle, maybe put some greenery at the top. And I just think that would look really cute. Just like that. So I picked up those. And I found some art stuff for my daughter. I found this little watercolor palette for her. And I think, yeah. And I also got this paper palette for her as well. I thought these were just really adorable. She could, um, she loves to do art projects at our dining room table. She will play with beads and paints. And I have her 
draw and color and paint all of the stuff from the crafter square section at Dollar Tree. She's very artistic. So I went ahead and picked those up for her. And another random item from this haul, I found this on a clip strip towards the front of the store. It wasn't even by where all of the other automotive um, and electronic items are, but I found this charger by Road King and it looks pretty heavy duty. And it even says heavy duty device charger <laughs> on the side, but this just plugs into your car and it is a micro USB connection. So I did look this up online from Amazon and I think it's selling for, I think 11 or $13 around there. So I thought this was a really good deal. This is a great item to maybe stock up, pick up for Father's Day if you're doing like a Father's Day gift basket. I know I always get excited to show my husband stuff like this that I haul at Dollar Tree. Um, so picked up that. I got some of these water brush pens to use with my Tombow brush pens when I'm doing like watercoloring. I haven't done it in a long time, but I do plan on doing it sometime. I don't know soon, but sometime. <laughs> It's when I'll do it. And so I picked those up. And really cute items. Also from, no, these ones aren't from Crafter Square. These are by Crown Jewels. They are narwhal page markers or sticky notes. Couldn't pass up those. And then I found this mason jar 3D sticker with little seashells in it. I don't know if this was necessarily either of these things were worth $1.25, but they were super cute and I had to show you guys. So grabbed those. These are definitely new from Jot. They are water bottle, water, water bottle stickers, uh, water and heat resistant. So you can decorate your water bottle. I found this coffee set and then some cats. So I'll give these to my daughter, the cat ones, for her to decorate her water bottles. And then I don't know if I'm going to use these on my water bottles. I just really liked the images, especially like this coffee and then the grinder down here. I just thought were really cute. So I might use those in my journals or in my planners. And then these from Crafter Square are strip stickers with animal print, which you guys know I love animal print if you've been with my channel. Um... So had to get these. And so I don't know what I would do with these. They look almost like they have like a pleather texture to them. So I'm going to open one up and feel it. And they do. They do have a faux leather texture or feeling material. So I thought these were amazing. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them, probably use them in one of my junk journals. And then I found, we are getting down to the last few items. I don't know if I'm going too fast, but um, I found these tote bags, canvas tote bags. So I found this one, I really love the bike on it. And let me actually open this so you guys can see. I'm sure you know what a tote bag looks like, but. I like to show you guys the whole thing. So really cute for maybe a farmer's market or um, produce at the grocery store. I love using bags like this for that. So I found this one and then I found this gnome one it says bloom and grow. There was also, what was the other ones that I saw? There was one it had like a hot pink um, writing on it. I'm not sure what it said. Um, but I just picked up these two. I thought they were really cute. Again, for produce or farmer's market shopping. And last week I had hauled the mini composition notebooks and I had talked about how I wanted to start doing that trendy mini collage on those composition notebooks. Well, this week I found these mini notebooks and tell me these don't look like mini happy planners. So I bought all of the designs that I saw and you guys, these are so cute for those little mini collages. I'm so excited to do that. And I will do a video um, when I end up doing it, but let me open one up. 
This B print is everywhere at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen these other prints. Usually they will reuse the same like print on their composition notebooks and um, some of their sticky notes and things like that, but I didn't see, I haven't seen these other prints. The panda is definitely my favorite. I love all pandas, all animals, but pandas, sea pandas, any kind of red pandas. I love, I love pandas. So those are the other ones that I got, but let me go ahead and open this one up. Oh my gosh. So cute. Be positive. So adorable. Even the paper color is perfect for those mini collage, like vintage mini collages. I love this. And you can do this and then put them back. So I love the disc style. And again, this is very, very similar to Happy Planner, which Dollar Tree has put out Happy Planner dupes with the stickers as well. So I am so excited, you guys. This is probably my favorite thing in this whole haul are these mini notebooks for the collages. So really excited about that. All right, guys, so that's everything for this week's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. It does help out my channel a lot and I do appreciate it. And for those of you that aren't currently subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll consider becoming part of the family and click that subscribe button. And for those of you that have added items to your wish list, your Dollar Tree wish list. I do wish you luck on hunting and finding the things that are on your wish list. I know not all Dollar Trees get the same things or get the same things at the same time, um, which I know can be frustrating. So I do wish you luck. And until my next video, I hope you guys all have an amazing weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.